A controversial new drug nicknamed the female Viagra is now headed to a pharmacy near you. The FDA has approved Addy, the first pill for women who suffer from a loss of sexual appetite. Some women's activists are applauding the FDA's decision, calling it a victory for gender equality in the bedroom. Critics say the medication is minimally effective and can cause some very serious side effects. Joining us now on the phone to give us his take, Dr. Keith Ablo of the Fox's Medical A team. Dr. Ablo, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me on. So basically, I want to hear from you. How does this drug work? And is it a little misleading to say it's the female version of Viagra? Because if it's my understanding, it works very differently. Well, it's definitely misleading because uh, it really is a minor increase in libido for some women. And frankly, the mechanism of action isn't well understood. It seems to affect serotonin receptors. That's the neurotransmitter, the chemical messenger in the brain that's involved in depression and in other feelings of well-being. Um, but the manufacturer and the FDA is very clear that they don't quite understand why in research trials it does achieve a statistically significant increase in desire. But Viagra is about an increase in function, not so much about desire. And so they aren't equivalent. They're quite different. Right. And, and has this drug been rejected by the FDA before? Um, I, yes, it has. And so um, at this point, it has, you know, crossed that bar. It's not easy for drugs to clear that hurdle at FDA. And so clearly there's something here. And I know in my own practice, you know, when women feel as though that part of their lives is not robust, certainly right. there's suffering involved and they want to restore it. Is this the best way to do so? It might be worth trying for some women. But frankly, if you tested a lot of antidepressants, you might find that they restore libido because this indication is one that was sought by this particular company with this particular medicine. It can cost a tremendous amount of money to get an indication. My guess is if you looked at a lot of antidepressants, you'd find they do something similar because a lot of the women involved are probably suffering with depression. Right. And obviously we know that there's some serious side effects and also the drug cannot be mixed with alcohol at all. Dr. Ablo, thank you so much for joining us. I wish we had more time. We really appreciate it. Have a nice day. No problem. Take care now. Bye.